Hey everybody, it's Laura from Tiger Kitty Co. I am going to do a B6 monthly rewind for the month of June. It is July 4th as I'm filming. I don't really have a lot of plans today, so I'm catching up on videos because I was on vacation. <laughs> so this is in my Jessenia Printables B6 uh, monthly... I don't know what it's called, month on two pages, I guess. Um, it's in the pink version, which is just these tiny little date dot areas which get covered anyways, but you can get them in gray if you want. <laughs> My kit is from My Newest Addiction, of course, if you're new here. Um, Every month this year in my B6, I'm doing a My Newest Addiction kit, and I cannot wait to flip through the whole year. It is so pretty. I flipped through the first five months that I have, and it's just like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so this is the June B6 kit. It has light gold foil, um, and it has this beautiful, soft, kind of like sorbet colored floral Um this is for my sidebar. You have top or bottom kind of washi, washi strips, six little boxes, date numbers in the same foil and background. And then you get this sheet, which is clear, but it has foil. Um, Sunday through Saturday, June 2019. Um, some scripts and holidays, icons and other little like decorative and functional things, paydays and bill dues, and then the look ahead month. Um, and then you can get a functional add-on um, kind of sampler thing with um, the same background if you choose, but because this is such a small planner, I don't really feel like I need that. I have never, I got it for May um, because I did my monthly in this planner as well as my Erin Condren um, in that pattern, but to be honest, I really haven't used a lot of it, so. Oh, this is crooked. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, that was a lot of undo. And then I had to go wash my hands because it was all over my fingers. Um, I think it's straight now. It's as straight as it's going to be. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> um, and then my computer, like my inner, my Firefox was crashing as I was uploading footage. So while I waited for that to finish, um, I went ahead and put the date numbers on. And then I did white out the June behind here. I whited out the notes as well as the top date bars because I don't want those to show. So we're going to continue. <laughs> um, and my air conditioning ran. It's fairly warm here. Um, I don't know. When I was in Wisconsin, it was fairly cold a lot of the days. Um, when my niece was visiting at the end of the month, it was pretty hot. And we, like, bought a little kiddie pool and stuff, which was super fun. Um, she actually, like, went in it, but we just put our feet at the edges, <laughs> um, sat in some lawn chairs. I don't know if I scratched that or what I did to that. Um, just had to make sure I was doing the dates right. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then... Um, she splashed around in the pool and we just sat with like our feet in it on like a patio chair. It was great. It was very refreshing. But we went like to a sculpture park and stuff and that was really hot. Even my 10 year old niece or 9 year old niece was like, it's hot, I want to go. <laughs> um, and kids can usually tolerate the heat a little better. I feel like than adults sometimes because they just like want to have fun. They don't care if it's hot, but it was real hot. We stayed longer though. Like, um, we still like took our time because <laughs> it was like, oh, let's go look at this. And then let's go look at this, even though we were like on the way out. 
which was kind of funny. Okay, I don't know what washi I'm pairing with this. Um, but I probably will just because there's extra space down here. Like if you put this on that one line that I'm not whiting out, um, it's at the very bottom, but then you still have room. Or if you centered it, you maybe wouldn't need another washi. I just like using my washi since I have it. So I try to use it whenever I can. I'm looking forward to setting up my teacher planner for next year because I think I'm going to get to use washi every day. <laughs> so that'll be nice. I'll probably set up most of it in advance though and then maybe like bring it home over Christmas break or something because I certainly don't need to be bringing all my washi to work. That would be a little insane, I think. Okay, I don't know if I have enough of those um, to mark my travel for the whole, because how f that's only like two days. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, that's not going to be long enough. So I think I'm going to mark my niece being over with these little strips. So she came over on, um, what is this, Thursday the 27th. And she stayed until the 30th. So I'll mark that and then I'll use something else. Maybe for my trip. I don't know. Maybe I won't mark it since it was most of June. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like to. But there's a little bow on that end, so I think I'm going to cut the other end off. This 30th is so small with this little half box here. Like, these boxes are already small, and then it's half of that. Like, holy moly. Tiny. So, yes, I apologize if I'm kind of all over the place. I filmed a haul yesterday, but filming a haul, like, you have something to talk about. Um, because you're talking about what you've got. <laughs> um, not, like, just off the cuff kind of talking. So, I apologize if I sound like a crazy person um all right I think these are all cut wrong my numbers took a really long time because they wouldn't come off the backing but here like can you see the top of that box is all white and then all of the pink is underneath it like look how much is left underneath here I don't know. They're just kind of lined up funny because it has all the white on the top. I think they're just a little crooked or something because these strips all seemed fine when I put them on. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Get to planning, Laura. Get to planning. And I don't know why I'm starting in the middle of the month, but that's what I'm doing. So on the 11th is when I flew home to be with my family. Um, hmm, there's a little like June 2019 right here. I don't know when that's supposed to be. Let's put holidays in before I forget. So Father's Day is the 16th. Ramadan ends was the fourth. Oop, that kind of went over the number. Flag day is the 14th. Um, summer begins was like the 21st, I think. Hmm. These are a little longer than they used to be, I feel like. Wow, we're not in focus. I apologize. Um, but they kind of go over the numbers, 
Whereas I feel like they used to be a little bit more, like kind of how this one's layered. I feel like they were a little bit more like that. I don't know. Couldn't tell ya. I don't know where that little June 2019 is supposed to go either. Because it already says June over here. Don't know, you guys. Don't know. Okay, so there's a little payday flag. I mark my payday, but I don't mark... Um, my bills do because it's a memory planner and I don't care and I think these are funny because they're cut out as flags but they're clear so it's funny to me <laughs> okay anyways let's go from the top of the month so on the first I went to brunch with a bunch of my friends one of my friends um, was in town from Georgia and we were already going to brunch that day anyways and she was friends with the friends I was going with. So we all went to brunch that day, which was fantastic. It also says in my planner I had a date night. Literally don't remember that. But if my planner says it, we're going with it. <laughs> um, so I'll write date night in there and then brunch with friends on the first. Um, the second was just bills. On the third, I had a district meeting to go to for my new job. Let me put a patterned one since I have the plain one right there. So I had to go to an orientation on that day. And yeah, there's like a little alarm clock. Oops. I use alarm clocks for a lot of meetings. Cute. Okay. Um, the fourth was my aunt's birthday, so I will use these little heart balloons and the happy birthday. Let's see. I want to write her name in, so I'm going to put it up a little bit. I'll put happy birthday and then maybe I'll put the balloons like there. And then I can write Mary in there, my Aunt Mary. Um, the rest of the week, I basically went to Pilates every day. So my Pilates subscription renews on the 2nd, and I left on the 11th. Um, so basically every day in between those two, I went to Pilates <laughs> because I had to get eight classes done before, um, like by the 10th, because I couldn't go the 11th. Um, and then I was gone the whole rest of the month, and if you don't use them you lose them. So I just did a lot of Pilates. <laughs> okay. On, I'm just holding this cause yeah. on the 10th, I went to, um, a movie and out to eat with one of my friends. So I'm going to put another box. This is when we went and saw Aladdin. Um, I'm going to put Memories. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put memories on this one. I was going to put it on the brunch day, but I'll put it here. And I don't think we have any like movie sort of things, which is fine. Yeah, okay. I think we'll just leave it like that. Memories lunch and Aladdin with my friend. And then, like I said, I left on the 11th. Um, and then, oh, I know what I can do. From the 13th through the 16th, we were out of town. So I'm going to use more washi 
And I'm, I'm just not going to worry about marking my entire trip because that's just a lot. I'll come back to do that one. And I'm going to need a full box in here. Okay. Oh no, where'd my ruler go? So yeah, we were in, I flew home to Wisconsin, and then my parents live kind of in, I don't know, northwestern Wisconsin, and we drove down to southeastern Wisconsin, where I grew up, um, to visit my friends and family that live in that area. And it's about a six hour drive, five, five and a half, six hours, something like that. It's pretty far. So it's an ordeal. We stay at a hotel, we stay overnight, the whole nine yards. <laughs> okay, so there's a car and I'm going to put driving to, I just write Milwaukee, even though we don't really go to Milwaukee just because it's easy. <laughs> we go to that area. And then on the 16th, I spent the whole day with one of my friends. Um, and normally I only get to see her like to go to dinner. Um, but I got to see her the entire day. Um, oh, and we had dinner with some of my family on the 15th. My aunt, my uncle, and my second cousin. And then I spent the whole day with her. Um, and then on the 15th, I saw... Um, two of my aunts. So I think I'm going to use these little bows to mark those meals out since I have a couple of them. So this was my two aunts. And I also saw my grandma, so I'll put another one here. And then on the 16th, we drove home, so I'm gonna put the little home here. But then I also saw my great aunt. So I'm going to put another bow there. Cute. Okay. I like that. And it was Father's Day. Um, on the 17th, I was just like at home with my parents. Same with the 18th. On the 19th, that is my parents. Um, it was their 48th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to put that in my last box here. They've been married for so long. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to put it like that. I didn't want to cover up much of the stuff here, but I don't really like how the line, like, because it's clear because the line is through it. So we'll just put it on the edge there. Um, let's see. I also went to Pilates with my mom that day, so I'm going to put a little sports bra. I don't know how I'm going to mark Pilates the rest of these days, but I'm going to mark that one. And then we went, I think the 27th. Yeah, the 27th. So I'm going to mark that one also just because those are special because I went with my mom. Okay. Um, I was just at home chilling with my parents these days. Um, Simply Gilded new releases were the 22nd. So I'm going to take the little bow paper clip. I don't know why I mark these, but you know, it's fun. Oh my God, I love her bows. Okay. And then on the 23rd, I visited my friend Christy, who was my roommate in college for four years. That's a long time. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to put the heart 
because that little arrow thing seems real big. And I'm going to kind of put it off to the edge because the box is so small. So that's visiting my roommate from college. I drove to kind of where she lives um, and we spent that whole day together. And then the 24th through the 26th, it was just relaxing at my parents' house. And then again, my niece came over on the 27th with my brother. They stayed um, there that night. I think I'll just put the little arrow here. And then they were over through the 30th. And then we went back to my brother's and dropped her off. So that is my month at a glance basically I still have a few things on here but I don't really need them um, and I do want washi and I need to figure out if I'm gonna mark Pilates I have little like little tiny stars that I think I might use um, to mark Pilates the third through the tenth I just don't know if I need it but I mark them all the other months with like dumbbells, so I feel like I should mark them with something. And then I'm gonna get some washi to put in here and then I shall be back. All right, you guys, I'm back. So I will show you what I did um, and which washi I used. This is one of the Simply Gilded and Pigeon Paper Co. collabs. I kind of wanted to use the one with the fox, but it's a little too big. Um, so I used the 10 millimeter. Um, it doesn't have the foxes on it, but it does have little like blowing kind of like dandelions and bows in foil with like some little scattered dots and then the grass. Um, so that's what that looks like. I was looking at like my pinks and my peaches and there's just a lot of pink already so I figured I would pull this in. It's a little bit more bold than I thought it would be but I think it's still really pretty. And then I put these tiny little um, dots for my Pilates classes. I did put them on the days that I already marked, but um, I'm up here I'm going to just write this equals Pilates so then I don't have to try to fit it in. Or if I can write really small, I might just write Pilates in there. I wish I had like an abbreviation for Pilates. But like P-I, P-S, P-L, I don't know. P-I-L is weird. It's It's just weird. So... I might write that in. Um, but yeah, that's all I added to the spread. So I think it's pretty fun. Um, there's a look at kind of all the foil. It's quite pretty. Yeah, this is a little bit bold. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But I really enjoyed this pop of like a contrast color in May. Look at my Saturdays. That is so funny. There's just nothing to see there. Um... So I thought I would do a pop of something a little different on this spread as well. And I think it's going to work. I'm not going to change it. Let me know what you think of it, though. I am curious um, because there is like this like yellowy green kind of color in here and then the green leaves and stuff. So let me know what you think. But yeah, this is Simply Gilded and Pigeon Paper Co. I think this is still on her website, um, the Simply Gilded website. So if you are interested, I believe they are still there. The foxes are really cute. Um, but that's everything for this plan with me. Let me know what you think, especially of the washi. Did you guys do anything fun during June? Let a girl know. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.